The human brain is the most complex organ in our body. It controls everything we do, from our thoughts and emotions to our movements and senses. When something goes wrong with the brain, the consequences can be severe. Brain surgery is a highly specialized field that deals with disorders affecting the brain, spinal cord, and peripheral nerves. It involves intricate procedures performed by highly skilled neurosurgeons. The decision to proceed with brain surgery involves inherent risks. However, the potential benefits often outweigh the risks, offering hope and healing. Neurosurgeons are medical specialists who dedicate their lives to treating disorders of the nervous system. Their expertise extends to the brain, spinal cord, and peripheral nerves. These highly skilled surgeons possess an in-depth understanding of neuroanatomy, neurophysiology, and neuropathology. Before embarking on their surgical careers, aspiring neurosurgeons undergo extensive training. This includes four years of medical school, followed by a minimum of seven years of residency in neurosurgery. During their residency, they gain experience in diagnosing and treating a wide range of neurological conditions. Neurosurgeons utilize various diagnostic tools to evaluate patients and determine the most appropriate course of treatment. These tools may include neurological examinations, imaging studies such as MRI and CT scans, and electrophysiological tests such as EEGs. Once a diagnosis is established, the neurosurgeon will discuss the available treatment options with the patient. In some cases, surgery may be the recommended course of action. Brain surgery is performed for a variety of reasons, each addressing specific neurological conditions. One common reason is to remove tumors. Brain tumors can be either benign, meaning non-cancerous, or malignant, meaning cancerous. Surgery may be necessary to remove the tumor, relieve pressure on surrounding brain tissue, and prevent further neurological damage. Another reason for brain surgery is to treat aneurysms. An aneurysm is a weakened area in a blood vessel that can bulge or rupture, leading to a stroke. Neurosurgeons can repair aneurysms by clipping them off or by filling them with coils to prevent rupture. Brain surgery is also used to address traumatic brain injuries. Severe head trauma can cause bleeding, swelling, and damage to brain tissue. Surgical intervention may be required to remove blood clots, reduce pressure on the brain, and repair skull fractures. Craniotomy is a surgical procedure that involves removing a portion of the skull to access the brain. It is one of the most common types of brain surgery. During a craniotomy, the surgeon makes an incision in the scalp and uses specialized tools to create a bone flap in the skull. This bone flap is carefully lifted to expose the underlying brain tissue. Once the surgery is complete, the bone flap is secured back in place, and the scalp is sutured closed. Craniotomies can be performed on different parts of the skull depending on the location of the problem. For example, a frontal craniotomy provides access to the front of the brain, while a temporal craniotomy allows surgeons to reach areas near the ears. Technological advancements have led to variations in craniotomy techniques. One such variation is minimally invasive craniotomy, which involves making smaller incisions in the scalp and skull. This approach aims to reduce pain, scarring, and recovery time for patients. Minimally invasive approaches, endoscopy and stereotactic surgery. In recent years, there has been a growing emphasis on minimally invasive neurosurgical techniques. These techniques aim to minimize tissue damage and reduce recovery times. Endoscopic neurosurgery involves the use of an endoscope, a thin, flexible tube with a camera and light source attached. The endoscope is inserted through a small incision in the skull or through natural openings, such as the nose or mouth. This allows surgeons to visualize and operate on deep brain structures with minimal disruption to surrounding tissues. Stereotactic surgery is another minimally invasive technique that relies on three-dimensional imaging and computer guidance. Prior to surgery, the patient undergoes imaging scans, such as MRI or CT, 
to create a detailed map of their brain. During surgery, the surgeon uses a stereotactic frame or frameless system to guide instruments to the precise target location within the brain. Stereotactic surgery is particularly useful for treating deep-seated brain tumors, arteriovenous malformations, AVMs, and movement disorders. Deep Brain Stimulation – Targeting Circuits for Relief Deep Brain Stimulation, or DBS, involves implanting electrodes into specific brain areas. These electrodes deliver electrical impulses to regulate abnormal brain activity. DBS treats movement disorders like Parkinson's disease, essential tremor, and dystonia. It can also manage epilepsy and obsessive compulsive disorder, or OCD. The DBS system has three components, electrodes, extension wires, and the neurostimulator. The neurostimulator, implanted in the chest or abdomen, generates electrical impulses. Settings can be adjusted non-invasively with a handheld programmer. DBS improves symptoms and quality of life, but doesn't cure the condition. Risks and recovery. Navigating the post-operative journey. Brain surgery, like any major surgical procedure, carries inherent risks and potential complications. The specific risks associated with brain surgery vary depending on the type of surgery, the patient's overall health, and other factors. Some potential risks include infection, bleeding, blood clots, seizures, brain swelling, and neurological deficits such as weakness, paralysis, or speech difficulties. It's important for patients to have a thorough discussion with their neurosurgeon about the potential risks and benefits of surgery. The recovery process after brain surgery can be lengthy and challenging. Patients typically spend several days in the hospital following surgery, where their vital signs are closely monitored. Pain management, wound care, and physical therapy may be part of the post-operative care plan. The length of recovery time varies depending on the extent of the surgery and the patient's individual healing process. Some patients may require rehabilitation therapy to regain lost function or adapt to any neurological changes. Advancements and hope, a brighter future for brain surgery. The field of brain surgery continues to advance at a rapid pace, driven by technological innovations and medical breakthroughs. These advancements aim to improve patient outcomes, minimize risks, and enhance the overall surgical experience. One notable area of progress is in imaging technology. Advances in MRI, CT, and PET scans allow for more precise visualization of brain structures, enabling surgeons to plan and execute surgeries with greater accuracy. Another area of advancement is in surgical instrumentation. Robotic-assisted surgery, for instance, allows surgeons to perform complex procedures with enhanced precision and control. Minimally invasive techniques, such as endoscopic and stereotactic surgery, are becoming increasingly sophisticated reducing tissue damage and recovery times. Furthermore, researchers are constantly exploring new frontiers in neurobiology and regenerative medicine. Stem cell therapy and gene therapy hold promise for treating currently incurable neurological conditions. Thanks for watching the video. I used AI to generate this video from the script which I'd created to reduce the production time and also to understand the AI tools and prompts for creating video. If you liked this video, then please subscribe and like my YouTube channel, Everything From AZ, and watch my other videos. Thanks for listening. For